popularized by the MLS in the 90s, where the attacker has a running start and the goalkeeper has to stay in or around his box. However, we have a certain format and rule set that you can watch here. For the rules, we've decided to implement our own little twists to the MLS penalties. First of all, instead of starting at half, the attacker will start in their own box. They'll take the ball from either a rolling start or drive it themselves and go onwards to try and score. In the MLS 90s penalties, the goalkeeper was allowed to come out of his box and rush the player. However, to make things interesting, we're only allowing our goalkeeper to stay inside the diagonal orange box, aka the rectangle box, aka the 18 yard box, aka whatever you want to call it. If he's out of there and he saves it, then it's a retake of a penalty. If, as the attacker, you allow the ball to touch the wall, then that is a missed shot. No ceiling shots, no air dribbles from wall setups, aka if the ball hits the wall, then your goal does not count. Now, in the instance the ball hits the crossbar, if the ball hits the crossbar and goes in without a goalie's touch, then that goal would count. However, as in this example, if the ball hits the crossbar and it bounces out, the attacker is not allowed another shot. Alternatively, if the player hits the post, then the same rules as the crossbar apply, but if he misses entirely, then that's an incomplete shot. Now for the format, so you guys can try this with your own friends in your own private lobbies. Now each team consists of three players of varying skill level. The three players take penalties against a set goalkeeper from the other team. Each round consists of one player from each team being in net. A team's goalkeeper rotates out after facing three shots or three penalties. They will go back in once the other two teammates have also been in net to face three penalties. And the attackers can change up the order of their penalty takers at any time. It may seem a little confusing on paper, but once you see the video, it will be pretty easy to follow. Blue team always starts on offense. If the orange team gets the 10 points first, they win. If the blue team gets the 10 points and the orange cannot reach 10 on their next offensive round, the blue team wins. If the orange can reach 10 or can go above 10, then they can either tie or win the game with their next offensive round. If the game is tied, then the penalties become sudden death. In sudden death, the team with the highest score at the end of the next round wins. And just for clarification, a round is where each team has one set goalkeeper and three penalties against that goalkeeper. Now, for a penalty shootout, we need teams, and we need players of varying skills. First up for the orange team, we have Sky, who is in the red and black car, and is an EU bubble scene player. Next up for the orange team, we have a PS4 player in George Burke, who is a 1s and 2s machine. And in the rainbow colored car to complete the orange team, we have Fable, who is very mechanically gifted. Now for the blue team, and the first player is me, the guy behind the mic. In the Fennec, repping the blue team, is Jim, aka Park Sizen, a sop vet. And in the blue and white lone wolf, we have Zeph. Some of you may know him as the sub for Awkward Turtles in the last season of RRS. Anyways, the teams are out. Game 2 is underway. First up, we have myself. I had a shocking start last time. What can I conjure up this time? And I score against Sky. A nice little 45 degree flick to the right hand side. We are 1-0 up. Now Jim, who was dominant on the right side of the field last time, goes to the left this time and slots in coolly past Sky to make it 2-0 for the blue team. Next we have Zeph, arguably the best player on the field at the moment. Takes his time, he misses his flick and Sky is able to save the ball. Unfortunate there for Z. Now we have Sky on the reverse. And he has all the time in the world to slow it into the right hand side. A clinical finish from a clinical player. Next up we have a Versa, another person who struggled last week. But he is able to get a goal straight away just like myself. And it's 2-2. After the first five shots, George here can make it three out of three, perfect for Orange. Bangs it in, but unfortunately hits the crossbar. So it's 2-2 two -two after the first round of games. We have myself coming up next. Once again, going for the same 45 degree flick, but George was able to read it convincingly. Now Jim goes to that coveted right hand side. He gets the shot, but George, after getting scored on last week, is able to read the play. Unfortunately for Jim, he misses there. Next we have Zeph who's taking things very slowly, but it pays off as George bites to the right and he slots in coolly to the left. Now we have Sky coming in, going towards the right hand side, doing a gym special and he's able to slot in past Jim himself to the bottom left of the field and it's tied at 3-3. Now we have Versa popping it up for himself, tries to do a ground 50, but unfortunately for him, Jim is able to read it and win the 50. Now to end round two, we have George. Can he make it 4-3 for the orange team? Yes, he can with a nice power shot through the middle. Starting off round number three is me, Ryan Maji. 
And as I pop the ball up, trying to set myself up for the flick, which I do, top bins. A nice finish there for me, and I'm playing way more better than I was in the previous game here. As Jim goes to the left-hand side once again, but that's not a problem for him. He slices and dices his way and scores a nice finish to the left-hand side of the goal. And now we have Zeph. He can make it 3 out of 3 here for the blue team. And of course he does with a pinpoint shot to the right-hand side of the goal. Now we have Sky who's coming in. Guns blazing going full speed ahead and I'm able to read that one. This is ball 50s onto the post. Sky going at 100 miles per hour there. Versa tries a breezy flick. Unfortunately for him, he misses the flick. So 6-4. To the blue team currently, George needs to make it 6-5, he goes to the left hand side, takes it a bit more slowly and waits for me to move and finishes it to the right hand side. Now, coming in a bit hot this time, going for my own breezy flick variation and I miss it as well so the breezy flick's not paying off. But Jim doesn't go for the breezy flick, he goes for his signature right hand side but unfortunately for him, he poofs his shot. And now Zeph having it all to do, something similar to last week's vid. Unfortunately for him, Sky gets a touch and he hits the crossbar, so Blue Team misses all their shots after scoring all three of them the round before. And Sky taking things proper slowly here against Zeph, but he's able to wait for Zeph to make a mistake and finishes in coolly. And we are tied here as a Versa. Once again, everyone's taking things way more slowly now as he snakes his way through the field, takes the shot, gets the 50. That one's going to count according to the referees. And George can make it 6-8 here. And he does. You know George, he does. So, the orange team are in a commanding lead. What can I do here to bring my team's hope back? And I missed my flick, but in all fairness, I think that faked out George. And I was able to get a lucky goal, it must be said. And Jim's looking to tie the game as he snipes the bottom right corner. But unfortunately for him, George is able to read that one. And now we have Zeph, V George, Zeph, finding his form, finding his groove. I think he scored two or three in a row, I might be wrong. Next up, we have Sky here, I believe, and Sky misses the 50 against Jim. Fortunately for him, takes it way too close to the goalkeeper. Orange team are kind of struggling at the moment as the Versa goes for an air dribble, but Jim is able to read that one. Now we have George. He's going in faster this time, and he also misses the 50, so Jim comes in clutch as a goalkeeper there, saving all of Orange team's shots. I can make it 9-8 here against a Versa, which I do. With a nice shot to the bottom left. Didn't go for the flick this time. I changed it up. And now Jim can make it 10-8 here if he scores. He's going to his right hand side. His bread and butter. But he snipes the crossbar instead unfortunately for him. Now Zeph. We really need this goal here. And of course Zeph will do it. He's on fire at the moment. So orange team need to score two here. At least to tie it. Three to win. Sky fakes me out disgustingly, and yeah, that was a, that was a great finish by Sky, it must be said. Showing great patience in front of the goal. And now Versa trying to make it 10-10. Goes for the snipe on the top left corner. I love the word snipe, but I mean, I'm going to use it when people are shooting like that. A great goal by Aversa. And now George can win the game here with this shot. He takes it slowly up against me, but I am able to read the 50, and we go to OT. Now, I'm taking things way more slowly now. Here, putting on the roof of my car. I go for a little chip, but Sky, as the goalie, is able to read that all day. Next up, we have Jim with a far distance camera. He's going to the right hand side, trying his bread and butter play, but he misses the shot. Actually, though, with a zoom up, this is a fantastic save by Sky. Maybe the save of the game there, as he patiently waits in the air for Jim. Now, Zeph. Snaking his way through and Sky gets the save, but we're going to have a VAR review on that one. And VAR says that is a clean save implemented this week after all the troubles of last week. Now George, can he win the game here for the orange team? No, Zeph comes up clutch. The shot was straight down the middle and Zeph is able to read it. So we have a Versa trying to win the game for the orange team, but he also misses. Zeph coming in clutch and now here we go. This is for all the marbles. Sky VZ, he goes to the left. Fakes Zeph once again, and Sky, who's been fantastic this video, after being a bit shoddy last week, gets the winning goal, and here we go. Here's the replay of it. Waits for Zeph to make the move, and he barely even touches it, to be honest. He just dribbles it in. So, please like and subscribe if you like the content. We'll have Game 3 in the future, hopefully. A best of three. So, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.